A function of the deal, Jewel and Altria have entered into a client service agreement, so essentially putting Altria's cigarette and broader tobacco sales force to work on behalf of Juul. Um, so that's going to include three different components. Um, number one, they're going to give Juul um, shelf space um, within the cigarette um, shelf set that Altria controls. They call that the back bar. Uh, number two, they're going to give Juul access to their online um, consumer database of um, U.S. cigarette smokers. And lastly, Altria is committed to put Juul coupons within their own packs of cigarettes. How should investors think about the profitability of a regular combustible cigarette yeah. versus uh, a jewel? I don't know how you would break that down per unit, per tank, vaped. Um, what is a comparison? Yeah, you know, so one of the unfortunate things about the, the Juul Altria announcement was um, that Altria didn't really offer any financial detail around Juul, but in thinking about what the global tobacco players have all been saying about reduced risk products, e-cigarettes are thought to be higher margin than combustible cigarettes on a per pack basis. Did they overpay? It was an eye-watering valuation. It certainly is. $38 billion is the valuation of Juul. That's bigger than... I don't know, most of the companies that trade in the S&P 500, I'm sure, Vivian. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, um, Altria is a long-term thinker, um, and you know, to the extent that um, the trends that you're seeing amongst young adult smokers who are increasingly gravitating towards e-cigarettes, you know, this is the right, the right long-term investment. Not only does it help them offset the declines that they're already seeing in their cigarette business, um, but it also actually provides them incremental growth opportunity because Altria is a strictly U.S.-based company, um, but Juul certainly has aspirations um, to move beyond the U.S. The product's already available in the U.K. UK and Canada and Israel.